Hi, welcome to another video. Recently, I covered Maestro with the Claude 3.5 Sonnet, which allowed you to create any kind of application with just one text prompt. Whether it be a desktop app, web app, or game, it can create literally everything. The way it accomplishes this is through the use of agents. By agents, I mean that there's an orchestrator LLM that breaks down the user's prompt into multiple tasks. These tasks are then sent to sub-agent LLMs, which produce the output for each task. Finally, the refiner LLM checks if the output is satisfactory and then produces the final output. This method worked exceptionally well with the Claude 3.5 Sonnet. Everything I created worked in just one shot, which was really amazing. However, many of you pointed out in the comments that you want me to create a video using this framework with local LLMs like DeepSeek Coder and Quen. Fortunately, the Maestro framework does allow for this in their any API and Olama files. This approach is also very cost effective because you can do everything locally without paying for API costs. So, today I'll be doing just that. I am going to try some specific configurations of models to find out which works best and fastest. Let's jump in and get it configured first. First, go to Alama's site, click on the download button, choose your operating system, and get it installed. Once it has been installed, we need to get the repository cloned on our computer. Go to the Maestro repo and get it cloned. Once cloned, open up the Maestro any API file because we'll be using that. Now that everything is configured, we just need to enter the model we want to use. For this, type in Olama slash, followed by the model name. I'll be using the DeepSeek Coder V2 model for all three parts. So, let's put that here. Once it looks like this, just save it. Next, we'll need to install the DeepSeek model. So, go to Alama's site, click on the models link, and choose the model. Copy the installation command and paste it into your terminal. This will get the model installed. Once installed, you'll see a chat interface. Send a message to check if it works. Once done, come back to the Maestro directory. Now, run this command. This will install the packages needed for the program on your computer. Once it has been done, we can run the program. Okay, it asks us what we want to do. Let's ask it to create a snake game in HTML, CSS, and JS. I have done the same thing with Claude, and it gave insane results in just one shot. It worked, and everything. So, let's see if it can do that. Okay, so it has now started all the work. Let's wait and see if it can do it. A few minutes later. Okay, we have the code now. As you can see, it's all arranged in a folder. Now let's run the main file and check it. Okay, this looks fine. Let's see if it works. Okay, so this doesn't work. I don't know what the issue is, but for some reason, it has all the UI elements, but it doesn't work. This may be because the DeepSeek coder is not optimized for agentic tasks, whereas Claude excels at them. So maybe that's why, or maybe Maestro didn't execute it well. What I think the issue is here is that DeepSeek Coder is only optimized for coding tasks. When it needs to handle natural language tasks for the prompting, it struggles. So, what we can do is add a good model as the orchestrator and refiner, like Quen 72 b and keep DeepSeek Coder only for the subagent tasks. Let's do this and try it out. First, let's get the Quen 272B model installed. To do that, go to Olama's model page, select the 72B option under Quen, copy the installation command, and get it installed. Once it has been installed, send a message to check if it works fine. Once confirmed, change the orchestrator and refiner model to Quen 272B. Once done, and it looks like this, save it. 
Now, go to the terminal. Let's give it the same prompt to create a snake game in HTML, CSS, and JS. OK, so it has now started the tasks. Let's wait for some minutes because this will take some time, as Quen 272B is a really big model. Anyway, let's wait. A few minutes later. OK, we have the code now. As you can see, it's again bifurcated and everything. Now let's run it and check it out. OK, this one also looks good and has some simple UI elements. Let's check if the game actually works or not. OK, this one works. This is pretty cool. It works fine and everything. So, it's on par with Claude. 3.5 Sonnet this way. The snake game works. Let's also ask it to make a landing page. Let me send the prompt over here. It's getting generated now. Let's wait for some minutes. A few minutes later. OK, we have the code over here. Let's run the main file and see. Hmm, this looks pretty cool. This one's also on par with Sonnet. I even like it much better than Sonnet's generation. So, it can generate some really cool front end as well, which is obviously pretty cool. I really like this generation. The distortion on the page is only due to the images not being there. But if you add them, it will look even better. Next, let's also create the To Do app that we had created with Sonnet. Let's give it the same prompt to create a To Do app. OK, so it's getting generated now. Let's wait for a bit. A few minutes later. OK, it's generated now. You can see we have the files over here. But now, let's run it and check. OK, looks pretty cool. It also works pretty fine. This whole setup is working extremely well. It's really amazing. Plus, it's super customizable. You can configure your own custom agents and sub-agents for any specific task you may want to do. Also, in this Any API file, you can configure Anthropic, Gemini, and OpenAI models as well. So, if you want to use something like Sonnet as the main model while using something like Gemini Flash as the sub-agent, you can do that as well. Or, if you want to use a local model as a sub-agent and the main model from OpenAI or another provider, you can do that too. It's pretty cool. Let me know your thoughts about it in the comments. If you liked this video, consider donating to my channel through the Super Thanks option below. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye.